What is up guys? Joey from Stampede Gaming. Welcome back to an episode of Game Breakers. Today is going to be an exciting episode, something I've been wanting to do for a long time. So what we have here is a Super Nintendo Model 2. This is my Super Nintendo. It's the one I use for when I stream or play Super Nintendo games uh, at any point. Um, what I want to do is modify the Super Nintendo so that I can play Super Famicom games. Uh, now, you don't really have to take... Uh, there's a lot of ways to do it. Like The Super, the Super Famicom games will work on... Uh, the Super Nintendo uh, Model 1 or 2. Uh, you don't necessarily have to take apart uh, the Super Nintendo uh, Model 2 to do that, but I find uh, it's a lot more convenient uh, doing it the way I'm going to show you today. So let me show you the difference between a Super Nintendo game and a Super Famicom game. So here you have uh, uh, Rockman 7, here you have uh, Tasmania, right? On the back, you can notice that the Super Nintendo cartridge has these two little indentations here. That's what's preventing us uh, from putting in uh, a Super Famicom game in order to play it. Um, so what we're going to do uh, is take apart the Super Nintendo and get rid of those in indentations so that we can just basically slide in any game uh, you want to play, right? Now, if you don't want to do that, if you don't have the, the tools um, or the, the tech savvy in order to do that, let me show you guys a different way on how to play Super Nintendo, uh, sorry, Super Famicom games on your Super Nintendo. So what you want to do is basically get your um, security bit that uh, you, you would use for your NES games. Uh, it also works on uh, Super Nintendo games. It's the exact same bit. So we'll take out uh, the screws out of Tasmania. Just like that. Ooh. That has me, it doesn't look good. Look at that. <laughs> that board is just like uh, part of the cartridge. Uh, uh, it's called the, uh, the contacts there. The board are like broken off. Weird. And there we go. So all you got to do is basically just uh, swap out uh, the boards here. So take Tasmania out because I have no clue why you'd want to play that game to begin with. Uh, put in Rockman 2 over here and uh, just screw this back in. So again, having these tools here uh, and not doing any sort of modification on your Super Nintendo can allow you to play uh, Super Famicom games on it. And this works, like I said, it works also with Model 1 and Model 2. So we can go ahead and put this in now as a copy of Tasmania, but oh, hold on a second. It's not working. No! I think the game needs to be cleaned out a little. Back to the old drawing board here. I look pretty filthy. There we go. So now we have uh, Super Famicom playing on uh, on a Super Nintendo. So that's one method you could use uh, in order to uh, play Super Famicom games. But I'm gonna go one step further because what you could do is you can have uh, like a, what's it called, um, a dedicated uh, Super Nintendo uh, cartridge shell that you could use to transfer your uh, Super Famicom games on. But then it's a lot of unscrewing one, putting it there. I want to make it simplistic. I want to get inside the Super Nintendo. I want to rip off those indentations, and I want to be able to just insert any game I want and play whenever I want. So that's what we're gonna do. So first things first, let's put the uh, the boards back where they belong. Okay, 
so. Okay. I'm surprised this copy of Tasmania still works. With the board chewed up like the, the contacts. Okay, so the tools that we're going to be needing, obviously the screwdriver with a security bit, so we're going to unplug everything. Okay, now, unlike uh, the NES and the Sega Genesis, uh, you're actually going to need a security bit to uh, un unscrew these, uh, these screws here, and it won't work with the NES one. you got to get a separate one, which is just a little bit wider. I don't know if you can pick that, if you guys can make that out or not. Uh, yeah, this one here is, you can see it's a little bigger. So that's the one you're gonna have to be using. And there's gonna be four screws that we're gonna be taking out. I don't even think any of these things are unscrewed all the way. Holy. Hard to tell. That side's out, that side's out. Uh, they should all be out. There we go. Okay. So I don't want to flip it around because I don't want the screws to get lost. Perfect. That was a good drop right there. You didn't lose a single screw. Okay. So just those four screws. So that's the inside of the Super Nintendo. Uh, this is the top part of it. So what's blocking us here are uh, those two indentations right here. I'm going to try to do my best to show you guys here. Alright, so it's right there, that's one, and uh, right here is the other, okay? So the way we're going to take it out is uh, we're going to take apart this slot right here, okay? Just uh, the cartridge slot here, and the I guess for the dust cover too, so the dust cover, that's what it is, okay. <laughs> uh, what you need for that is just a standard uh, number two uh, flip test screwdriver, same thing you would use uh, when taking apart uh, an NES or a Sega Genesis. So it's just three screws. So one and I think, they're, well, same size or not, they have different heads. So you want to separate them. Okay, perfect. That's it guys, that's all we got to do. So we take this off now. Now theoretically, you could just take this off and put this back on the way it is theoretically and it should work the problem is though uh, the dust covers there you go they just they, they, they come off that that's the issue so or you could just take the dust covers off in general if you don't want if you don't care about using them or not right but I'm gonna try to make this look as professional as I can so what we're gonna do now is work on this part so hopefully you get a better view here of what I, what I was talking about before uh, it's this piece right here and this piece right here. What we're going to do now is I have a rotary tool. This is a Dremel. It's 
it's got a grinding bit on there. I'm just gonna get in there, I'm gonna grind out those two indentations, and that's it. Should work. So this is gonna get a little bit dusty, so I'm gonna take out the, uh, the console here so that it doesn't get that dirty, but I'll do my best here to, uh, to grind this. So basically it's just like melted plastic. I thought it'd be a little more dirty than that to be honest. And just, just a little bit more I want to get rid of here. Yeah, it's hard to get it to like uh, a, a really, really smooth finish uh, because it's just ground, grounded plastic, right? So you can do your best. If you want, you can get like an X-Acto knife and just uh, try to make it a little more sharper. I might do that. Rather than that though, it should be fine. So that was one piece right there. So as you can see, you can see the tab on this side. You can't see one there because it's gone now. So let's do the other side. Take a break every so often, just so I can clear uh, the debris out of the way. Now you don't have to be totally perfect with this, you just want to get rid of the indentation. So you can always test it out with the... Uh uh, the Mega Man cartridge, or sorry, the Super Famicom cartridge, see if it goes in. And it looks like it's going to go in nice. So, I think it could be good. Uh, I'm going to try to grind it just a little more. Um, I guess I'm too much of a perfectionist. It's this kind of attitude that's probably going to make me fuck it up, I guess. <laughs> That should be good. I mean, it doesn't look crisp, clean, professional, but the most important thing, the indentations are completely gone now. So that's the most important thing. So what we're going to do now is... Let's, get, let's clean all this. Uh, let's get a nice clean uh, workspace here. Get rid of all this plastic. That melted off. That ground off. Okay, I'm gonna get 
a... I really don't need to do that, I can just wash this uh, at the sink, but... I'm just gonna do it right here. I'm gonna just get rid of the dust that's in here. With the Q-tip. I'm not really gonna clean the uh, Super Nintendo cartridge slot because it is working already. Uh, and it's nothing different than what I showed you before, right? It's the credit card method, right? Take the credit card, uh, wedge it between uh, a folded piece of sandpaper, and uh, just go, you know, in and out and stab it. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So, this should work. And we're gonna try it right now. Okay. So. First things first, let's put this back on. There's only one way to put it on. Only three holes. Okay, that is it. Now we got our Super Nintendo. Put this back on, very important, make sure that uh, the power is off and it's down here as well so that it can go right into the slot. And that's it. Uh, I'm not gonna screw it in just yet, just in case I have to get back into it. But, let's test it out, shall we? Okay, here we go. Super Nintendo. North American game, Tasmania. I said, North American game, <laughs> Tasmania. It could be that the board's broken too. Let's not forget. I'll just uh, clean off uh, half the board that's remaining here. Alright. Super Nintendo game, North American, Tasmania. There you go. <laughs> My son's soft. I bet they really regret this one. Okay. That works, and now, without having to do any other modification to the cartridge, just basically get the cartridge, put it in, Super Famicom, Rockman 7, which I've never played before. I said, Super Famicom, Rockman 7, without having to make any modifications, And there you go. <laughs> so there you go guys, now I can I can actually play Super Famicom games on my Super Nintendo Model 2 or Model 1 if I had one without having to do anything other than taking the cartridge, putting it in, and this is huge because there's a game I've always wanted to play, not this one, I, I will get to this one eventually, the game I've always wanted to play was uh, Super Back to the Future 2 and now I can uh, I can do it easily now. So guys, that does it for me uh, for this episode of Game Breakers. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's Joe with Stampede Gaming. See you guys later.